Carrie if you guys didn't already know that and I'm currently on exchange here at the University of Technology in Sydney. I'm on exchange from New York City, Pace University and um, I've been living here for about two months now. I finally am getting around to do a dorm tour of my dorm here, which uh, is pretty awesome. I'm living in the Yeramadang residence. I'm living in a single dorm. That means that I not only get my own bedroom area, but I get my own kitchen area and my own bathroom. Super happy to have a single here. I love the amount of storage to store all of my clothes and my shoes because I'm obsessed with shoes right now. Without further ado, let's get started. I'll show you guys my dorm and I hope you guys like it. Okay, so starting with my desk, this is my favorite part of my room, and I just have this lamp here, good for doing homework at night. There's a phone, but it's an internal phone, so it literally only calls housing, but whatever, it's chill. Then I have this piece of artwork here that I've been working on for my Photoshop class, and two lists. One of them is a school list, which is just all my schoolwork, and then another one is my to-do list, just general stuff. Then my jewelry over here for necklaces and earrings, which is really pretty when the light hits it. I keep my laptop and water bottle on my desk. And in these drawers, there's really just anything that I didn't want to put somewhere else, so it's just stuffed in there. Um, and up here, there's so much storage above my desk. I keep my books and my scrunchies and hair stuff there with some extra jewelry, as well as my makeup brushes and my makeup. And over here is just a bunch of random toiletries like deodorant, toothbrush, here is where I kept my suitcases from my traveling, and then over here is my laundry bin, and the heater. The heater is here because I arrived in July, which is in the middle of the Australian winter, so it was cold, and then there's a TV, which I have literally never turned on. My school gave me like a million tote bags, so I put them there in that corner, and then here is the beautiful view, which gets even prettier around sunrise or sunset. And this is my bed. It's actually super uncomfortable, but it works. My tapestry is from Society6. And then underneath my bed, I have shoe storage, which is pretty much the best thing ever. So you can just pull this drawer out. I have all my shoes, which I'm actually obsessed and in love with shoes. So yeah, so you can just tuck that right away and then it's gone. So moving on to the rest of my storage, I have so much storage in these three closets here. Starting with the first one, I just keep my miscellaneous dresses and stuff up there. Sweatpants and pants, shorts, skirts, and then t-shirts and all that jazz, and sweaters, and then my carry-on suitcase, which is kind of random, but yeah. In the closet, I would have more clothes, but I was too cheap to buy more hangers, so there's just jackets and some dresses in there, along with toilet paper and trash bags above. And then in the third cabinet thing, there's my yoga mat, bathing suits and underwear, socks, pajamas, and then I have some workout clothes, extra sheets, and in the bottom there's hats, which I literally barely ever wear. The kitchen looks low-key sad and there's a random sock on the floor, but we're gonna start with the fridge and freezer, which I feel like is a very good size for a dorm. And there's a random magnet that I don't even know what it says. Uh, I keep popsicles in the freezer and then in the fridge I have random stuff like oranges, hummus, almond milk, carrots, the stuff that I live off of. And then in every dorm there is a tea kettle, which I've never even used, a toaster, and a microwave, which is pretty sweet, as well as a stove top. And then there's all this storage down here, that's where the trash is, and the sink which is full of dirty dishes, oops, sorry. And then all this cabinet space up above. I keep my dry ingredients up here like peanut butter, would that be a dry ingredient? Cacao nibs, <laughs> chia seeds, granola. And then I have a bunch of stuff to make turmeric lattes, so that's fun. I have turmeric, ginger, and a bunch of other stuff up there, super fun. And then in this cabinet, my friend left some Ziploc bags, so I just have them here for some reason. And I have reusable grocery bags because the store doesn't give you bags here. And then in the bathroom, I have this shower, pretty standard. I've got my uh, curtain from Ikea, and then some random shower supplies, shampoo, all that jazz. And then on my sink, I have heat protectant, hand soap, and then I have a hand towel. Down here I keep miscellaneous cleaning supplies and detergent for my laundry. There's some storage and a toilet. Fun. The door slides open and closed, which is kind of weird, but it works. And then I have my towels. 
the rest is just kind of a general overview of my dorm here because that's about it. It's not that big, but I think it's the perfect size for one person, so yeah. I hope you guys liked the storm tour. That's about it. That's my room. It's pretty uh, normal, average, chill. I don't have a lot of decor in this room because I had to bring my stuff in suitcases on a plane so I couldn't overpack. I kind of like it. I like the minimalism of this dorm. It's kind of peaceful and relaxing. If you guys have any questions about uh, living in Australia, or uh, living in the residences here at UTS, comment them down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I've been uploading so many videos about study abroad in Australia. And also um, my twin sister and I run this channel. So uh, she is uploading stuff about New York City. I'm uploading stuff about here and New York City when I get back. I hope you guys like this video. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I will put it down below so you can uh, check that out. And good luck with your exchange, guys, if you're going on exchange. It's a lot of work, but it's super rewarding once you get there. Have a nice day, guys. Uh, see you guys in my next video.